Are genetically engineered crops really better for the environment? Most genetically engineered, or GE, crops are designed to survive specific weed killers like glyphosate, which is better known as Monsanto's Roundup. The corporations who make these pesticides claim that overall herbicide use has decreased since their introduction, but the numbers don't lie. Before GE crops were cultivated, weeds resistant to the Roundup herbicide didn't exist. Today, there are 14 known species of Roundup-resistant weeds in the U.S. alone. They're known as super weeds. They've been reported on half of all U.S. farms and cost farmers millions of dollars every year. As farmers spend their time and money dealing with super weeds, biotech seed companies profit. Monsanto, DuPont, and Dow pour those profits into marketing. They greenwash their GE crops as good for the environment. But super weeds and the pesticides being used to fight them are having a devastating impact on the environment. When Roundup-ready crops were introduced, farmers were able to spray corn, soybean, and cotton fields with Roundup. The weeds would die and the crops would live. But spraying one type of chemical day in and day out, year after year, began to only kill some of the weeds, while survivors became increasingly resistant. To combat the new superweeds, farmers are now spraying other, more toxic herbicides such as 2,4-D, a component of the poisonous Agent Orange used during the Vietnam War. Instead of promoting sustainable weed control alternatives, like varying crops grown year to year and using cover crops, biotech companies are instead inventing new GE crops intended to withstand new chemical concoctions of multiple herbicides. Ultimately, this approach will only intensify the problem by creating more superweeds resistant to more types of chemicals. The increased usage of these chemical herbicides has disastrous effects. Farmers and agricultural workers are exposed to these toxins, which cause cancer and disrupt hormones in the air and water every day. Amphibians, like California's red-legged frog, are directly affected due to their permeable skin, which is very susceptible to chemical contamination. And monarch butterfly migration populations are the lowest they have been in decades, because milkweed plants where monarchs lay their eggs are being replaced with GE crop fields. Meanwhile, Monsanto and the biotech industry spend millions on ad campaigns claiming their GE crops help the environment. But the facts show the opposite. Herbicide use has increased by 26% since 2001, and Roundup use on the biggest three GE crops is now 10 times what it was before GE seeds were invented. Corporate greenwashing won't solve the superweed problem. It merely attempts to sweep it under the rug. To learn more about the issue and tell the government to protect food and farmers over biotech profits, go to foodandwaterwatch.org.